In this video, we want to talk about the fore and aft balance point of the sled. This is really more about where the handlebars place the rider on the sled than where the actual balance point is because the rider is limited to where he can go on the sled by the handlebars. In order to understand where this balance point is, first we have to understand that the sled will always respond quicker and with less rider input if the rider is near the weight mass of the sled, the engine. That's where all the weight is. And, and because of where the handlebars are, it puts the rider behind the weight mass. Good riders will always crab the handlebars, stay up on the sled, and they uh, have more control of the sled because uh, of their rider positioning. I prefer to actually move my handlebars forward. Um, you can't accomplish this by simply rotating the bar riser because this affects the handlebar geometry when you're in a counter steer such that it pulls the rider weight over the center of the sled and puts him at a leverage disadvantage when he's trying to uh, roll the sled to its edge. And so the proper way to move the handlebars forward on the sled would be to re relocate the steering post. This we'll address in, a, in an equipment section, but I want to just mention it for the simple reason that forward is good. You can't get too far forward on a sled in most situations. Of course, the fore and aft balance point will change depending on if you're descending or ascending, and we will talk about that in forthcoming video.